which adjuvants are you going to use with your glyphosate or Roundup in 2010? Wait a minute now, isn't all the glyphosate loaded? <laughs> I thought it's fully loaded, ready to go to the field, this is all you have to do, just mix it with water and spray. Yeah, I love how they say all these glyphosates are fully loaded, they are absolutely not fully loaded. That is a complete lie to you and me as farmers. Well, it's, it's, it's a not. marketing thing. It's a marketing gimmick. And when we talk about loaded, that means there is some surfactant in it. The question is, is it the right surfactant for the operation you're performing? For example, let's say that you're mixing some status in with Roundup to spray out on your corn. What surfactant should you use? Is that surfactant that's in Weathermax or Durango or Touchdown or, or a generic glyphosate, is it the right one for the status? And then, by the same token, if you're spraying it with your volunteer corn spray, maybe you're putting Select Max or Assure 2 or one of the volunteer corn products out there, mixing it with Roundup, which is the right surfactant? Well, there are a lot of different ones to choose from, and performance can vary quite a bit. Okay, let's start with saying this. The surfactant that is in what's considered a fully loaded glyphosate, first of all, it's not the same with every different glyphosate out there. Roundup surfactant is different than some generic glyphosate surfactant that you're going to buy. There are a lot of differences that way, so that's the first thing, let's say. The next thing is all those surfactants are in a certain category of surfactants. Now, normally, if you're going to add something to Roundup, somebody might say, well, use a non-ionic surfactant. Okay, a non-ionic surfactant is not what's in generic glyphosate or neighbor and Roundup. What it is is a cationic surfactant. Now, cationic surfactant has a positive charge to it. Non-ionic surfactant has a neutral charge to it. So if you're going to throw something like Status or Select Max or just about anything in with your Roundup, does it need cationic surfactant? No. It needs non-ionic surfactant or crop oil. So that's the main reason why you have to add a different adjuvant to that glyphosate when you throw in a tank mix partner. All right, let's get specific on some products and, and let's start with the most common mixes with Roundup. In corn, the most common tank mix partners are Status and then either Callisto, Lattice, or Impact. With Status, the best adjuvant that you can add with Roundup is non-ionic surfactant, typically at a quart per 100 gallons. With the Callisto, Lattice, Impact family, they respond much better with oils. You'll get better performance uh, with something like a crop oil than you would with a non-ionic surfactant or with adding nothing. Now with the oils, some of the manufacturers prefer a methylated seed oil instead of a crop oil concentrate. It, it just depends on which one of those three products you're using. You'll have to check with your local recommendations because they do vary throughout the country. The problem with the oils as opposed to the non-ionic surfactant is it'll take away a little bit of that selectivity of the Roundup. You'll see just a little bit more burn out there than you would if you're using an anionic surfactant. Now let's turn to beans, Brian. Okay, when it comes to soybeans, most farmers are throwing in something to control volunteer corn. If you're doing that in your farm, you're probably using Select Max, but you might be using one of the generic Selects or Fusilade, one of those products. Anyway, the best thing you can throw in there is crop oil at a gallon per 100 gallons of water. However, here again, most of the generic glyphosate and even name brand Roundup manufacturers, they don't really want you to throw oil in because they figure they're gonna get a little more leaf response and people will blame it on the glyphosate rather than putting the blame correctly on the oil. So what a lot of those manufacturers will do, even though throwing crop oil in will make your volunteer corn killer work better, they'll say use non-ionic surfactant at one to two quarts per 100 gallons of water. Either way you go, usually it works fine. If you've got very heavy pressure or tougher conditions, then I would definitely suggest using the crop oil. Now there are a few other things you can throw in with glyphosate for soybeans, things like Pursuit, and Harmony GT. Here again, you probably are going to want to use surfactant at a quart to two quarts per 100 gallons of water. All right, so maybe you aren't mixing anything with your Roundup. You're just spraying straight Roundup out there. But by now you're probably asking, are there times I should be adding additional surfactant and which one should I use? Well, definitely there are times where adding more surfactant is going to improve your control, especially when conditions are extreme one way or the other. Maybe it's extreme cold, or extreme hot. When you've got some stresses on your plants, your plants are going to respond in the field, whether that's your weeds or your crops, by shutting down. Those pores are gonna close up, 
They're going to try and hold water in, or they're going to try and hold the extreme heat or extreme cold out. When your plants are playing defense, you need a little bit more surfactant to penetrate that defense and get a better kill. We've got a lot of people that we deal with that will put surfactant in every time they're spraying Roundup because they've seen so much better results putting additional surfactant even in a loaded glyphosate versus doing nothing. So add something like non-ionic surfactant, typically add a quart to two quarts per hundred gallons of water. Okay, when we started this whole thing, I told you it's an absolute lie when they say these glyphosates are fully loaded. They aren't. Here's the thing you need to add with every glyphosate, every single time you spray ammonium sulfate. The reason why you use ammonium sulfate, it does a number of different things. First of all, it's going to help tie up hard water ions. In all water, there's calcium and magnesium. Also with ammonium sulfate, it is a fertilizer source. So it does help a little bit to get the Roundup more quickly to the growing point to kill the weed. And also for the crop, if you have a Roundup ready crop, it will help that crop recover just a little bit quicker. Not a real big deal, but it does make a, a little bit of difference. Another thing is there are certain weeds that are nitrogen sensitive, things like water hemp and maybe even morning glory, where if you have a nitrogen product in there like ammonium sulfate, it will work just a little bit better. Now, the key thing with ammonium sulfate is to get the spray grade ammonium sulfate as opposed to fertilizer grade. The fertilizer grade can have some impurities in it that can also tie up your Roundup. That's not a good thing. Buy the spray grade, the stuff that is the pure ammonium sulfate. Good things for your crop, good things for the Roundup. Well, there are a lot of different things that you may add with your Roundup, but will they control our weed of the week? I'll show you coming up later in the show.